I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Cream of Cats TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Hello YouTubians, welcome back to the final, final episode of this video review of these amazing set of trade cards featuring classic cards from 1964. The same year the Beatles went out to America for the first on their first tour. If you haven't seen parts one and two, shame on you. I recommend you watch them straight away. I've split the screen so that you can see both the beautiful illustrations on the fronts and the descriptions on the backs at the same time. Please feel free to pause or rewind the video so that you can read the backs at your own leisure. If you own any of these motor cars or have driven them in the past or restored them, please feel free to share your fond motoring memories in the comments section. Assuming YouTube, of course, hasn't done away with that feature <laughs> like it has with lots of other features. Priority issued a number of I Spy card game trade card sets. The idea was that you the idea was to spot as many of these motor cars as possible. A great way to pass the time if you're stuck in the back of a car on a motorway or highway. It even asks you where you spy the cars. Many cards were filled out, but that of course tends to put most serious collectors today off buying them and drastically reduces the value of course. Each car has a score, the most commonly seen ones have the lowest scores and the most rarely seen ones such as foreign or luxury models have the highest scores and then you, the idea is just to total up your scores and compare your results with your friends. Of course that gives us a fantastic indication of what most cars were widely seen on the roads in, here in Britain more than half a century ago in 1964. It's amazing what you can find out from humble cards like these. These cards might be rather primitive by today's sophisticated media standards but remember that you don't have to pay money to update them every few years like Microsoft products. You don't need complicated ebook gadgets to read the backs and appreciate the illustrations. So, is it any surprise they're still here after more than half a century, when nearly three quarters of all the original silent movie reels have long since been lost or were destroyed as new technologies came along, funnily enough. Some ancient Egyptian papyrus paper has lasted thousands of years, so never underestimate the power of humble cards like these. Now that you've seen that video, you might want to see the other two parts to complete the series. Or how about 1930s classic cars? Click on the fourth image link to see them. I've also done lots of other early transport collectible reviews on my YouTube channel. And here is just a small sample. Please feel free to click on the image links, rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.